you. Good evening. The definition of paranormal is those things that science cannot explain yet. However, most of our present-day scientific achievements were once dismissed. Years ago, it was inconceivable to think that you could use a device to talk to a friend on the other side of the world. In fact, in 1868, the newspapers ran editorials claiming that telephones were pure trickery. At present, energy healing, psychokinesis and UFOs are some of the subjects that scientists cannot explain but perhaps one day will. Tonight, we're going to travel to Ireland and witness the incurable get healed. Also, we have amazing photos of ghosts that experts say are genuine and an astonishing display of mind over matter by Chinese monks. First, though, if a fleet of UFOs were to fly over London or New York in broad daylight, be seen by thousands of people and be recorded by dozens of video cameras, you'd think there'd be widespread panic. Well, that's exactly what's been happening in the skies above Mexico City, the world's largest metropolis. But rather than causing terror, the sightings have become almost a national celebration for the Mexicans. We went to find out about the biggest wave of sightings in UFO history. According to some historians, more than a thousand years ago, Mayan astronomers predicted that the 20th century would see a total eclipse of the sun that would be followed by visits from the masters of the stars. These extraterrestrial travelers would herald a new age of cosmic awareness. Shortly after midday on July 11, 1991, the sun was eclipsed by the moon for nearly seven minutes, and many believe this was the eclipse the Mayans were referring to. Thousands of Mexicans were out in the streets with binoculars, telescopes, and video cameras aimed towards the heavens. But what they captured on video wasn't just the expected astronomical event. Many people videotaped what looked like a bright metallic disc hovering above the Anahuac Valley of Mexico City, and thousands more witnessed it. Even more startling was that when the objects in the different villages more than 100 miles away people also witnessed and filmed what looked like a metallic object hovering above them. The Breton family in the village of Puebla were making a home video of the eclipse when they captured a UFO on tape. And in other small villages such as Oaxaca and Tepe del Rio, the unidentified object was seen again. When compared with the footage taken in Mexico City at the same time, all the objects appear to be identical. Hyper jump shows how something could have traveled a huge distance in a fraction of a second. Shot on the day of the eclipse, it's caught in only four frames, an object leaping from one side of the sky to the other. And what's particularly remarkable about this footage is that when it's put into slow motion, the object appears to project some kind of beam and then rides it to its destination. But this was only the beginning. Since the eclipse, UFO fever has gripped the Mexican people, and sightings of strange objects in the sky have become almost a daily occurrence. We were on the roof terrace of my house when suddenly two white objects in the sky caught my eye. They were heading towards the volcano that's nearby. I watched them carefully when suddenly a third object, a black object, passed right in front of them. The city lights were reflected in it as if it were a mirror. I've seen these objects from many places in Mexico City. They fly over different areas of the city. I've seen them at the airport, I've seen them at truck stops, and I've seen them from the top of different public buildings like the hospital. I've seen them during the day, in the afternoon, at night, and at dawn. Jaime Masson is one of Mexico's most respected investigative journalists. He also saw the unidentified object during the eclipse and has asked the Mexican people to help him investigate the repeated sightings of UFOs over their country. The reason why this wave of UFOs is so important in Mexico is that the Mexican people has been able to create evidences through video to show that this is really happening. We have a proof right here in Mexico that the extraterrestrial intelligence is present in our world at this time. Jaime made various appeals on national television for people to send him videos of UFO sightings. 
and the amount of material that's been forthcoming is staggering. The reaction of the Mexican people to this phenomenon at the beginning was a skepticism, but now everyone is interested. There are TV shows, radio shows. There is a fever in Mexico. Everybody wants to know. Since then, official groups of UFO spotters have been set up. One is the vigilantes, who hold round-the-clock vigils of the skies above Mexico City. The vigilantes are a group of people from all over the country who are volunteers, and we are looking for UFOs in the sky above Mexico City practically all day long. Usually we get telephone calls or reports which people send us, and that enables us to start our investigations. The vigilantes then go to the place of the sightings to see if there's a logical explanation. If there isn't, they contact Mexico City's air traffic control to find out whether their radars also detected an unidentified object at the same place. We look at the radar screen to identify the echo and see whether there's an object there or not. Last year we had various reports and the positions of our radar echoes have corresponded with the sightings that people have had down on the ground. The strange thing is, they aren't any kind of aircraft that's known to us. They aren't craft that have been regulated by air traffic control, and they have very strange flying patterns. There have also been terrifying tales of near-air collisions between commercial aircraft and UFOs during their descent to the runway. On the 8th of August 1994, Captain Carlos Corzo was making his final approach into Mexico City on a routine commercial flight from Acapulco when suddenly a UFO crossed his flight path. We came out from a cloud. This was uh, this big uh, metallic, shiny object as a platinum. It was flying in front of us just like if we were crushed with it. So I called the air traffic control and they answered that no airplanes were on that area and that we were the fifth station on the last four days that gave a report like this. But not all pilots have had such a lucky escape. Captain Romando Ruano landed after claiming that he'd collided with a UFO during his final descent. When Captain Ruano landed, it was discovered that part of the undercarriage had been sheared in half. The number of sightings above Mexico City shows no signs of abating. If anything, it seems the UFOs want to be seen. They can now almost be relied upon to appear on occasions when people will be looking up at the skies, such as this 1993 aerial display to celebrate Mexico's Independence Day. Thousands of Mexicans are adamant country is being visited by the masters of the stars, as the Mayans prophesied. And Jaime Masson in particular is determined to convince the rest of the world to take it seriously. Do you think that the whole city would stop because nothing was happening up there? I mean, we are a very smart country. We have problems, but we know what a UFO is. You cannot lie to the people. You cannot create these images if they don't exist.